Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski with DoStampingWithDawn.com and today I'm here with another How'd She Do It video and we're going to make this great card. It's very easy, surprisingly. It's called the Screen Divider Card. It's like those room dividers. I'm just going to pull off the ribbon here and it opens up like this and there is um, our screen divider and it stands like this so it is um, a card that they can display but what fun is that so um, let's get started alright so the first thing that you need is a piece of eight and a half by eleven um, and I'm gonna cut this down I'm gonna cut off to five and a half inches along the side next you'll need your scoring tool I have mine here. It's preset, and actually, we want to turn it this way. And we're going to make three score lines. One is at two and three quarters inch, five and a half inch, and eight and one quarter inch. Then all you need to do is fold it. So we're going to fold it in the middle, and then you'll fold it back on itself. It's like a Z fold, but you want to do the same thing on this one. And, and that's, that's the basic um, card layout and scoring and fold. And now we're going to do just a little bit of decorating. First I want to do um, the top, which is going to be with a great new border punch. This is the hearts border punch, but you really could use any border punch. So what I like to do for mine, first we're going to open it up. And we're going to put it in like this. And I'm basically just trying to get the center point. I always like to start my border punching in the center of whatever project I'm doing. But you could start at the end as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and punch it. All right. Now what the, the key for these is now in these negative spaces here, There, you can see these silver hearts here. We want to line them up here. Now, what I have figured out for this hearts border punch is, so pretend that I've just punched it. I'm going to move it all the way out until I see the last heart. And then I'm going to back it in to the previous heart. And that's how I'm going to line it up. And I'm going to continue to do that. So I'm going to pull it all the way out, back it up to the previous heart. And that gets it so that those hearts are perfectly lined up. So I'm going to just continue to do this. It looks like it just needs one more time. And then you'll scooch it all the way to the other way. And we're going to do the same thing on this one. So I, I can see that this is my last heart. I'm going to bring that last heart back in and line up the previous one. And there we go. And then I would just continue that all the way to the end. Okay, so I've done that, and then you actually have all these hearts as well, so you could certainly use that for another project. We'll scooch those aside. Now the next thing that you need for this is the decorative label punch. Looks like this, and we're going to, that's how we're going to get the feet in our card. So what I recommend for that is that you fold your paper like this. It's kind of... Um, so it's almost like the gate fold. This won't be our finish fold, but for this punching, I think it works the best. So I'm going to come in and show you a little bit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the punch in from the bottom. We're going to work on one section at a time. So we're going to work on this section first. We're going to bring the punch in. So I only want to do like... Uh, about a third of the punch but I'm going to talk about alignment so we're aligning it about third this way and then I want to align where this edge is of my paper kind of like now it's the center and the edge here so I know this is kind of hard to catch in the camera but I'm making sure that there is the same amount of space on um, showing on my punch on each side and that way I can feel pretty confident that looks pretty good I'm gonna give that a punch all right Ooh, and that looks really good see how that and now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side 
Okay, um, we can't, for, our punches are not going to go through four layers. Um, and actually on heavier cardstock, they probably won't even go through two. But with this Whisper White, you're going to be fine with the two layers. Alright, so I'm just going to do it again on this side. And again, we're going to come in about a third. And I'm going to side to side center it. And here we go. And I would say we did pretty darn good. Look at that. So now I'm going to refold my card. So remember, we had it folded in half and then back on each other like that. And that's back to our fold. Okay, so for the finished card, um, each panel has its own kind of decorative um, stamped piece in there. So for these three, I used um, this set. It's called Flowering Flourishes. And um, I stamped it in, let's see, what did I stamp it in? Ooh, the new Mossy Meadow, the, uh, one of the in colors. I also added just a little bit down at the bottom here. All right, and then, Stamping a little bit more here. Our greeting comes from this set that's called Hey You and the Happy Birthday I use, but really you could use any one of these um, in that. It would fit really nicely. Now the panels, they measure, the Whisper White ones measure, let's see, two and one eighth by four inch, and you need four of them. And then you also need four of the mat. The matting layer is done in perfect plum, and they are two and three eighths by four and a quarter. And that, um, other than just a little bit of, um, I added some flowers, some punched flowers, and they are with the petite pears. And that, um, that was just this one here. This is the perfect plum. And then this is the Blackberry Bliss color. And I used this cute little um, flower one. That's from the new Itty Bitty um, Accents. It's a triple punch. There's three other, there's two other shapes a heart and a star. So that wraps that up. You can finish it off by putting some ribbon around it like I showed you in the beginning. And we'll just tie that off. This just keeps your card together. This will fit in um, Stampin' Up's regular size um, um, medium envelope. So you'll be all set to go. So I hope you enjoyed that today. And be sure to stop by my blog at DoStampinWithDawn.com for lots more creative ideas and inspiration. And thanks for joining me.